Well, and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Right off the bat on the old show today. According to the folks over at Autoblog, the Hyundai Genesis Coupe apparently is on the discontinuation list. In fact, coming up at the year end of the year 2016, this vehicle will no longer be in production. Now, if you're a big fan of this machine, don't fret completely because apparently this is just Hyundai jettisoning all the Genesis named vehicles out of their lineup to be stepped up into their brand new Genesis high-end premium brand. So apparently we'll see this coupe version come again in the next year or so. Next up on the list, Aston Martin is in the news. The folks over at Motor Trend are reporting that they're working on, for the first time ever, a mid-engine supercar. Now, this isn't like that AMRB001 that we've shown off in shows past. Even though Adrian Newey with Red Bull Racing is supposedly interesting in pinning the design of this new supercar. The vehicle is supposed to go head-to-head -head with Ferrari's new 488 and the McLaren 650S. But again, this is still the rumor mill, so we'll keep you in tune if we hear any more on this. The Chevrolet Corvette. In fact, the mid-engine Chevrolet Corvette. The rumors about this vehicle's existence have been around for... What, as long as I've been alive? Okay, maybe not that long. But it's been around for quite some time. And in the past several days, these rumors have come in hotter and hotter with every passing day. In fact, to the point where the Detroit News is reporting at the North American International Auto Show in Detroit, Michigan, in the year of 2018, the mid-engine Corvette will make its debut with 2021 being the last time you'll ever see a production version of the front-engine rear-wheel drive version. The one that we know and love now apparently will be totally written off or discontinued coming up after that year. So we'll have to wait and see if these rumors are true. But boy, oh boy, these rumors continue to come in flying very quickly. Next up on the list, you may remember this particular vehicle. I guess I shouldn't say it in the past tense. They're still building Dodge Vipers, but soon to be, this vehicle will no longer to exist. But there may have been an 11th hour reprieve for this brand because there was a private equity group that was actually looking into buying this. In fact, a group of investors were looking at buying it. According to the truth about cars, those folks actually got a little story from one of these folks talking about they were had some nice conversation with Fiat Chrysler Automobiles working well on the way of buying the Viper brand until they come up with one of the biggest roadblocks, the fact that they would have to sell between three and four times the amount of Vipers that Fiat Chrysler Automobiles is selling now just to break even, which end up killing off the talks altogether. So apparently the Viper will continue to go off into the sunset. There's nothing to be said that it couldn't be sold again or the possibility that Fiat Chrysler Automobiles could get an investment group in or possibly a partnership that they've been looking for for several, several years to try to get this shore up this group and may make the Viper an existence again, but we'll have to wait and see on those fronts. Now, this is the Nissan brand new Blade Glider concept that was shown off in Brazil. Now, this thing may look a little bit familiar. This is kind of like a, that Delta Wing vibe where it's a wedge-shaped machine. Remember, there was that whole lawsuit between Delta Wing and the folks over at Nissan. Apparently, that deal has now been settled out of court or whatever has ended up happening with this because Nissan is moving forward with this wedge-shaped machine. Probably one of the most interesting things is that three-seat design, much like the McLaren F1. The vehicle will actually be powered by a 130 kilowatt electric engine that will be powered by a 220 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. The vehicle apparently will be able to do 0 to 60 in just under 5 seconds with a top speed of 115 miles an hour. No word on whether this thing will actually see the light of day in production as of yet, but we'll keep you in tune if we hear any more. Another brand under the Fiat Chrysler umbrella that may be up for sale is the folks over at Magneti Morelli. The Italian supplier, part supplier, is going to be bought up, if you believe the rumors to be true by the folks over at Bloomberg, by this group, Samsung, which I found to be incredibly interesting. The fact that Samsung is very interested in the lighting part of this group, we're talking about headlights, taillights, and the like, 
also very interested in their infotainment group. Now, apparently, Fiat Chrysler Automobiles relies quite heavily on Magnetic Morelli for a lot of the parts that go into their machines, so apparently they're trying to work out a deal with Samsung to continue to build those parts and not just the parts that Samsung's really interested in actually owning out of this group. So, this deal hasn't been done yet, but once it does, we will let you know. Last up on the list, we haven't talked about the Grand Tour, the Jeremy Clarkson, James May, Richard Hammond brand new Amazon Prime show that filmed its first ever studio segment in South Africa only just a couple of weeks ago. Well, now the announcement has come in as far as the American stop on this tour, and it's going to be in Southern California in an undisclosed location. That filming will take place on September 25th of 2016. And if you want to get in on the taping, you can go over to Amazon and buy tickets. The trick is, by the time you see this, you're almost out of time. In fact, it's August 8th of 2016 at 11.59 Pacific Standard Time will be your last opportunity to buy tickets. Now, the thing is, you have to answer a couple of questions, which is odd. And there's also a caveat inside the fine print showing off that you have to leave off a phone number and the producers of the show may end up having to call you and ask you a couple of more questions. I'm not for 100% sure what they're getting at if they're trying to keep some car fans out of this filming or whatnot. I don't know what exactly is going on with this deal, but cannot wait for this brand new program. Going to be coming out in the next several months. They have yet to announce that as well. There's also a stop in Germany. They haven't announced the date for that or the place where that's going to be as well. So we'll keep you in tune on those fronts as well. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiast. Don't forget to like us over on the Facebook page. Links down in the show, to, uh, show notes. This thing gets updated every day, twice a day. Also, if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time. Get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again real soon.